Uh, Brian Johansson, UM, can you give us uh, some hope, Georgie? Um, I mean, well, firstly, I'm not a hope dealer. Like, I'm just telling things how they are. If things that are looking up good, I will tell you that they're good. If things are looking out bad and really bad, then they are bad. Um, so I, I'm not really like dealing hope just for the sake of hope. That's not really, I don't really see a point of this. I, I, I don't see point of, of deluding yourself and lying to yourself. Um, it, are the things bad right now? Yes. Why? Most notably because Ukraine is not getting the resources that it needs. Uh, are the things, does it mean that Ukraine is about to collapse and Ukrainians will stop fighting? No, no, it doesn't mean that. Ukrainians are resisting. They will continue resisting as much as they can. Uh, a lot of really good Ukrainians are going to die. My friends, my family are on the line. They are going to be there on the receiving end. But are things like absolutely terrible? Uh, no, no, absolutely not. Like remember two weeks ago, I recorded a video where I was yelling at, at the screen and saying, oh my God, people are on saying that now Avdivka collapsed and like Russian are going to take Avdivka. And I said, no, because Ukrainians have built a fortification line. And I showed you on the map, the fortification line. Can you open deep state map right now and just look where Russians are? And then scroll back time two weeks ago, right? When everyone and every single article and every single like uh, news media, uh, YouTube journalists, whatever, were yelling is like, oh, total collapse of Ukrainian front line is coming. It's about here. Oh, it's going to be here. And it's like, so th that's the point. It's good to be realistic. It's good to be hopeful and optimistic where that hope and optimism is warranted. So when I say it's like situation is bad, yes. But there are certain positive momentums like that are making things better for Ukrainians. The biggest challenge is that Ukraine right now is fighting Russia and has a lot of resources, a lot of stock. Ukraine is fighting not actual Russia. Ukraine is fighting the Soviet Union. The whole 50 plus years that the Soviet Union, the world's second superpower, was accumulating resources and military power to try to fight U.S. at some point is now fighting not U.S., is now fighting, like all of that resource, is now fighting a country that is like three times smaller, like because not of just size, but like let's take population, which is a little bit more comparable. The, the country that is like three times smaller, which had at the start of the war significantly smaller military budget, and is not only is able to withstand all of that, but also locally was able to resist and throw out Russians, that was able to dominate Russian fleet, like win the Black Sea from Russia, and in two years completely cut out what any re resemblance of the organized military that they had beforehand. And now Russians are, are very hastily by sacrificing hundreds and thousands of people, by burning all of their stockpiles that they had for the like total nuclear war with the United States. They're burning through these reserves like, a, like there is no tomorrow. Ukraine is doing that, all of this. That is an incredible achievement. Whenever people then come and say, so put some kind of unrealistic expectations like, haha, but Ukraine still hasn't beaten Russia. It's like, what do you mean it hasn't beaten Russia? Like, Look at Covered Cabal videos, right? Look, videos of Covered Cabal where he goes over every single um, Ukrainian, uh, sorry, Ukrainian, Russian uh, depot with that they have vehicles at. Vehicles, tanks, artillery, and so on. And they go into that and says like, like, man, like, like thousands and thousands and thousands pieces of Russian artillery have been deducted from these long storage facilities. And I, I can tell you where they went. They went to the front line. And then when you see like like tens of thousands of these pieces of equipment coming from the Russian storage facilities, and then you look at the Ukraine support packages and it's like, oh, we sent like Ukraine, you know, like 500 artillery pieces. Whoa, whoopty fucking do. And then you compare, it's like many thousand went away from the Russian side, 500, okay, like, let, let, people are going to bitch that I say 500. Let's say uh, 2,000, like let's, I don't, it's definitely less than 2,000, but let's say Ukraine got 2,000. So a couple of many thousands or 2,000. And then you put them together, it's like, yeah, yeah Ukraine still doesn't really have an advantage. So when people say, like, why a country that has zero advantage in any categories still yet to beat Russia, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. So Ukraine is doing great for what it has. That is important. And Ukraine is not beaten, and it's not even close to being beaten. That is the hope that you wanted. There you go. If you're thinking, it's like, oh, but Ukraine hasn't won yet. Grow up.